Good morning everybody and welcome to Northern Iraq. I landed here really late last night at 2 a.m. I got to my hotel at about 4, 4 ish a.m. and it's currently 10 a.m. so I'm pretty tired. I just had breakfast but I think it's time to go out and explore. I'm so so excited to be here. I came here for a few days last year and it really wasn't enough. I didn't get to explore enough. I didn't get to show you enough so I'm back. This is my view from my hotel room, by the way. It's absolutely amazing. I love all of these local houses. I think another great way I can show you the culture and the history here is by showing you the markets and the main souk. Souks, if you don't know, in the Middle East are the main meeting hubs of people and the main gathering of people and it's a really great way to see the history, see the culture and see what people are doing here in the local area. There is one main place that I'm actually on the lookout for and that is a cafe called Mam Khalili and I have no idea where it is so I think it's probably best if I ask someone. Thank you. Hi. 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 You want to get in it? <laughs> Okay, after quite a while trying to find this amazing cafe, I finally found it. I just wanted to try. This place is the oldest cafe in the whole of Mobile and it's been active since 1963. And in here you can see all of the incredibly famous uh, Kurdish people who have visited. That's amazing. Thank you. mind and they ask us we will stop okay mm -hmm. okay so I found all the people uh, the sun is just going down it's about 435 and this place is so busy. This is the main fruit and vegetable market here in Abil. I'm just here with Havel, the tour guide I'm gonna to be traveling around with tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, it's so, so busy here.
It smells incredible, it's so nice. I love wandering around these areas because it really gives you a true insight to what it's like to live here. All of the people getting their fruit and vegetables for their recipes tonight and it's really cool. And Muslim and Jewish, I, I forget to mention this one. They were living together. Just in peace together, yeah. it's amazing. The more I walk around and the more I wander, I'm picking up on a kind of really cool quirk about people here. I don't know whether it's the people here or people in Iraq, but it's to do with prayer beads. They're not using them for prayer. I think it used to be for prayer, but they're kind of twiddling them in their fingers and moving them around. I don't know whether it's for peace or stress relief, uh, but it's really, really cool. and then put under here and then go around okay okay do you know how to do it Good? Yeah. Yeah? Great. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to do when I came back to Kurdistan was to wear the traditional outfit. There's something about this that's so cool and I love it so much so I thought it would be a great opportunity to do it now. Um, and yeah, I really love it. I also wore it with Converse, as always. <laughs> I love it here so much. One thing I really wanted to do here in Erbil was go and see how local families live and go and see the inside of a family house and go and experience what it's like to live in Erbil as a local. So I've actually very just kindly been invited to go and have dinner with a local family here in Erbil. So yeah, let's go there now. I'm really, really excited. Hello. Hey, Salam. <laughs> so, oh, it looks amazing. Yeah, so we have here Kifta Shinoi. Mm -hmm. When we were refugee in Iran, 1991, my mother, she learned from them and she taught my wife. So this is one of my favorite food at the moment, you know, right? Wow, now. it looks amazing. So we cook that often, you know, mm -hmm. maybe once or twice a week. Yeah. yeah. So many people think Kurdistan isn't safe. Uh, what would you say for tourists who want to come here? Yeah, actually that's a very good question. Uh, so in most Western government like in UK, Union, uh, European Union or American, if you look to their website, the government website says all Iraq is not safe. But actually it's not true. Uh, for example, Kurdistan region is totally different than Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh, because in Kurdistan, since 1991, we have our own government, we have our own uh, security, we, we've got our federally or autonomous in 1991. So when is the best time of year to come here? As a uh, best time to visit Kurdistan, uh, spring and autumn. Uh, but I will recommend March and April. Uh, March, we have most of our celebration are in March, for mm -hmm. example, Kurdish New Year. Uh, but I would say March, April, May, and plus October, November. This mm -hmm. five months, it's amazing to yeah. visit Kurdistan. Mm -hmm. So I've just been looking through the Lonely Planet Guide, and Haval's name 
is here inside the Lonely Planet Middle East guide. That's amazing. This is just stored so in your this house. Is, yeah, this is handmade, so we make it and then we can use it for one or two months. There is no wow. expired, you know? Yeah. So this is now, it's very, how to say in English, crack, crack, crutchy? Or very mm. hard? Yeah, it cracks. Cracks, yeah. so uh, when we eat it, we put some water on it, surprise, mm -hmm. and then it will be Reheat very, very full yeah. fat. Uh, so.